Hey, Sister Sharon, and today we are discussing the seduction of being a nice person. There are multitudes and masses of people who have not received by their own will the free gift of salvation through Christ Jesus. And they are very nice, very giving, very moral, some of them, very charitable. And if you're not careful, any of us, we could think because we're being nice and giving and kind that it will block, stop, prohibit the judgment of God. When a person confess that they are a believer of Jesus Christ, we are to turn from our sin. We are to receive his death, burial, and resurrection, forgiveness of sin, and then we begin to set our lives apart by offering our body as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God. That's what Paul wrote the church, that this is our reasonable service now. And what happens, friends, when a person is deceived into thinking that because they're doing uh, religious works, they begin to be, just 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 become desensitized about their lifestyle that the scriptures tell us clearly in revelation that no adulterer no liar no one that practices sorcery and witchcraft and many other sins that are listed Paul also warned us in Galatians chapter 5 that the 17 works of the flesh in Galatians chapter 5, he lists, he gives us understanding of behaviors that will not inherit the kingdom if you're practicing this stuff. And what is concerning me, my friends, is that some of you that are even watching me on a regular basis. You are living with your lovers. You are playing around with your salvation, friend. And some of you are very giving, very kind, very merciful. But friends, if you do not turn from willful sin, your acts of kindness and works, it means nothing. And it will trick you to thinking you're okay. And this is why many people who have been deceived by the false doctrine of giving 10% of their income from the law of Moses out of the 613 laws, they have been seduced to maintaining that one law. There are many people, the reason that they cannot hear that that doctrine is false, it is not a requirement of New Testament believers of Jesus, is because many really believe because they're giving as they think to God that they're going to somehow find themselves in God's grace. They are fornicating, masturbating, Drinking, smoking, lying, bashing people's character. It's a lot of people who are, at, they are faithful tithers. They are potty mouths. They smoke. They will, they will destroy your reputation. They will cuss you out. Some of them cuss right here on my channel. We got to bleep them and get them off. These are your tithers. These are your people who keep giving to the fake preachers to teach this false doctrine. But somehow, inwardly, they have been deceived to thinking that this here is going to somehow walk them through to bypass the judgment of God. Friends, don't be deceived. Don't be deceived. Being sweet and nice and doing religious uh, um, sacrifices is not going to save us from his judgment. Only respect for the shed blood of Jesus Christ is going to save us from God's wrath. 
Hell is real, my friends. And unless we get serious about our salvation and stop deceiving ourselves with works, you can give a thousand sandwiches a month to the poor. You can give them all your clothing and shoes. You can take in 20 orphans. But if you are a fornicator, a liar, if you are a competitive person, emulation is trying to be like somebody else and surpass their accomplishments, you are in sin and you will not inherit the kingdom. If you are one who is a divisive person, gossiping and slandering people and and dividing families and church groups with that mouth, bashing people. Friends, you're not going to make it. And all of your good works, it will burn up like wood. It'll burn up like shaft. Wheat and shaft, all them works are just burn up because we must walk the straight and narrow path that leads to eternal life. And there, as I said in the beginning, my friend, there are many God haters atheists, people who curse God daily, but they will do charitable work. They will give to the poor. There are many very rich and very famous people who will tell you, they will show you on their website all the charities that they give to. And many of them are are in churches and they are the number one tithers giving up all that money. But yet they got two and three lovers, have wives, but they got two, three mistresses. Oh, friends, don't let your niceness trick you. You will not make it. Our works cannot save us. But as James said, faith without works is dead. So show me your faith without some works. Hmm. But you can have plenty works, but no faith whatsoever in the shed blood of Jesus Christ. And that's what makes it dangerous and very seductive being nice. It could deceive you, my friends. Jesus Christ is the only person that walked this planet, died, was buried in a tomb, and on the third day, rose from the dead. And over 500 witnesses, the Bible is recorded telling us in Corinthians, over 500 witnesses saw Jesus in his resurrected body and his disciples saw his nail scarred hands and that Thomas put his hand in his side where they pierced him. This is why, my friends, we have faith in Jesus Christ. There is no other that has been chronicled to get up out of that grave So all of our good works mean nothing if we do not respect the death of Jesus Christ, God's only begotten son who came through the womb of a virgin. Do not allow your sweetness, your niceness, and your good deeds. Don't allow them to fool you, friends. As the, you know, it's the old adage, you got to straighten up and fly right. We must turn from sin. Any live-in lovers, get rid of them. If they don't want to get married and do right, get rid of them. Get rid of them, my friends. If you got situations and things that you got your hands in, you know it's unclean and dirty, run for your life because you don't know when God's going to call you out of that body suit, my friend. It is appointed unto man to die one time and then we all shall be judged. Let us be ready, my friends, and let us stop allowing our flesh to deceive us. God is nothing to play with. Be ready, my friends. Live as if today truly is your last day on this planet. I am. God bless you, my friends. I love you. Till next time.